Hello everyone. So in this video, I wanted to show you guys how to make saddles like these using the chop saw. This is one of my favorite methods to saddle pipe, coat pipe, whatever you want to call it, just because of how nice your joint comes out. So I'll show you. So this is two and three eighths inch drill pipe. That's how well it lines up. So the chop saw I'm using today is a Still Max. They're also called dry cut saws, cold cut saws, a few names for them. I've got a Diablo dry cut saw blade on there. So as you can see, this almost looks like a wood saw blade with, with all the teeth. These are really good saws. I've sure loved mine. I've had this uh, Still Max saw for seven or eight years and it's been a great saw for me. And these Diablo blades have been really good also. So let's say this is a piece of pipe that I'm wanting to cope, saddle. I wanna put a saddle on each end. The first thing that I like to do is I find a piece of angle iron, so just like this one. And depending on how long your pipe is, you'll need a longer or shorter angle iron. So I use my angle iron to line up each end. So you can set your angle iron on there and it should line up this end with this end. So you know if your angle iron's you know, laying flush on your pipe, this end here is gonna be lined up with this end down here. So starting off, I'll use my soapstone. I'll just make a little mark here on the top of this one. I'll keep holding my angle iron and go down here to this end and make a mark. And like I said, then I know my two ends are lined up when I do these uh, saddles. So once I have my marks to line up the ends, I need to change the angle on my chop saw. And the angle I'm looking for is about 32, 33 degrees, right in there. So this steel max saw has two bolts that I need to loosen. And they've got a little place here right for your, your Allen wrench that keeps it secure. So just loosen these two bolts and we'll find our angle of 32, 33 degrees. Right about there should work. Then just retighten the bolts. So I'm put my pipe back in here, find my marks. And after I do that, I find my mark on the top of the pipe. I just try to make sure it's as centered on the top as possible. And once I like where it's at, just line up my blade so it just takes off this half of the pipe. So just like that. So I'm gonna Take off that piece right there. So I got my first first cut made. And all I do is roll the pipe over. And once again, I just kind of eyeball things. This isn't a perfect way to do it for sure, but it gets you pretty stinking close. And what I, what I look at is I look at this point and this point. I look at it, look at them from the top. So I'm looking down at the top. I just try to make sure they're right above each other. Tighten her down and make my second cut. I take my pipe, loosen it, and just flip her back over. So see our soap stone mark here on the top? We got that pretty close, really. That's a pretty good looking cope. So, like I said, because of our angle iron and using that soapstone, we know that this end is going to line up with this end on our other side. So let's make this cut. And what I like to do is I come down to this end, to this end that we just cut, and I just stand over it. Look straight down at my point. I just try to line up my two points while I'm standing right above it. I think it looks pretty good right there. Roll it over, come back down this end, make sure I still like where my points are lining up at, and make my cut. So now I've got my, my saddles on each end of this pipe. 
And since this, this pipe is so thick walled, all I gotta do is come back in here with a little grinder and grind off these tips. Grind down the inside of these points here just a little bit. So once you grind down them tips a little bit, it fits right in to your other pipe, just perfect. And another reason I like saddling my pipe this way is that chop saw almost leaves a little bevel in there for you. So when you weld it, you know, you're getting really good penetration and you're getting down into the root of that joint. Yeah, you see there, leaves you a nice little bevel. Well, there you go, guys. So that's how I saddle pipe using a chop saw. I know there's a lot of other ways to do it and a lot of methods, but this is the way I like to do it. It might not be the fastest way, but I'd argue it makes one of the prettiest joints. And if you guys are interested in any of these tools that I used, like the Stillmax chop saw or the Diablo blades, I'll put a link down in the description and uh, you guys can check those out and see if that's something you want to invest in because I've, I've sure liked mine. They've been great, great tools and a great saw. And I actually did a video review on this Steelmax chop saw here. I'll put a link for that up here in the corner. If you guys are interested in watching that, I just go into more detail and kind of talk about a few of the things that I liked about it and a lot of the things that it's capable of doing because it's been a pretty impressive saw. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video and that you were able to get something out of it. Thanks for watching and have a good day.